Welcome! Okay, okay, so you may not have ruined your tile, but I do want to warn you of some pitfalls of installing sealer on a brand new tile installation or on your new tile project. I thought I'd throw out these five tips to help you install the sealer or not make some pitfalls that could ruin your installation. Number one, not cleaning your tile before you seal it. Seems obvious, doesn't it? But you want to put your sealer on your tile when it looks like you want it to for the duration. So you need to say to yourself, self, this looks amazing. Let's lock it in. If you can't say that, if there is dirt, drywall dust, grout residue, do not seal it yet. Clean it again, get it to where you want it, because once you lock it in, it's going to be more difficult to get it back. Number two, and probably the most common mistake with sealers, is applying too much sealer at one time. It can make a mess. Or ruin your installation. Really not really. Really not really. Now, putting on too much tile sealer can hinder the look of your installation. My suggestion, along with the instructions, is to put on thin layers using an appropriate applicator. Sometimes it's a sponge, sometimes it's a rag, a nice brush, but put on thin layers in one direction. <laughs> Let it dry, and then put another thin layer on in the other direction. This way, the face is covered, and then check it. Because if the tile will take more sealer, you need to possibly do that procedure again. You'll know when the tile has enough sealer, it won't absorb into the material anymore. Stop there. When it won't absorb, you're protected. And stay tuned until the end. I got a bonus tip for you at the end. But number three, applying your sealer too early. I know it's the end of your project. You want to be done. Whether you're a weekend warrior or you get paid to do this daily, you're ready to go home and be done with it. Wait a second. Take a breath. I feel better. Some sealers you cannot put on a floor when they're wet floor or wall. There are a few sealers you can apply immediately after cleaning your grout. You need to make sure. You need to read the directions. Make sure your floor is ready to receive the sealer you have purchased. I hope you find value in this information. If you do, please subscribe. Number four, applying the wrong type of sealer. Now there are 17,543 different tile and stone sealers out there on the market. That's not a real number, I made that up. But there's a bunch of them. And there's a bunch of different applications that they're designed for. So you want to make sure the sealer you have chosen is applicable for the material you're putting it on. For instance, if you have a marble stone, is gonna need a different sealer than a quartz stone. Or a porcelain tile will not accept some different types of sealers. Or you may just be sealing the grout. They make grout specific sealers. It is very important to get the sealer that is made specifically for your type product. Wherever you're buying your tile, ask a tile professional for a recommendation or suggestion of a sealer that goes along with the tile you're purchasing. If nobody there you trust, you send an email to me. I'll give you an answer and help you make that decision. So that is number four, apply the right sealer for the right material. Number five, not reapplying your sealer or proper maintenance altogether. Tile maintenance, what, is a big deal. It's probably the number one issue I see often. People aren't cleaning their tile correctly or with the correct materials and they're not reapplying their sealer before there's a problem. Sealers are only as good as they are maintained, and different sealers 
and different areas of use will wear out at different times. You've got to think Grand Central Station and the heart of New York City needs to be resealed a lot more often than your guest bedroom that never gets used. Maintenance on those two different areas have to be handled differently. Your sealer needs to be paired with a cleaner so that they can serve the application together. If you don't know what those are, I have some recommendations down in the notes below. I'll give you my favorite combo cleaner and sealer together if you're interested. But make sure, number five, you're doing proper maintenance on your sealer. You're checking it at a regular interval to make sure it is still protected. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite sealer is. Oh, bonus tip. When we're talking about number two, applying too much sealer, it made me think. A common issue when you do apply too much sealer and it puddles on your tile, it becomes milky and, and crusty looking. It's okay. You're going to be okay. You have not ruined your tile. Most of the time, you can reapply sealer and it will re-emulsify the milky dried up sealer on your tile, wipe it clean, and then double check and make sure it is still sealed. I hope that you've gotten some valuable information and how not to install sealers and not to mess up your installation by trying to protect it. I hope these tips were helpful. If you love sealer and sealer talk, check out this video right here. This video, we talk for an hour about sealers. Tune in there and don't forget, let's keep learning together and tile the world.